What's happening, peeps? What's happening? It's a beautiful day in the bay. I know that for sure. Man, today we go uh, have a little lunch and talk about my Steelers. And look what I got on the plate today, man. Got me a nice, good roast beef sandwich from New Delhi and Pinole. If you guys know where that is, you should try them out, man. They make a really good roast beef sandwich. I always tell them don't cut, <laughs> don't cut my sandwich, please, because you didn't cut a hundred sandwiches with that knife, and and you don't, you know, you probably don't wash it off. So that's with all delis. And then for my uh, beverage, I got me a nice Stewart's root beer. I ain't had one of these in a while. These is good too. So. Today, we're going to talk about my Steelers. I know I'm a few days late, but hey, never too late when you're a fan. Talk about the Steelers. I hope uh, I hope next season is a lot better than this past season. And to tell y'all the truth, I wish Ben would come back if we don't get one of these better quarterbacks because what we got now as a backup is not going to replace Ben. Ben would have had... A better year had he had an offensive line. I would rather see Mike Tomlin go than Ben Roethlisberger. I'm telling y'all that now. A lot of people are going to say I'm crazy. But I'm not. I heard he was a front runner to go to the Raiders. So I'm hoping that's what happens. Please go to the Raiders. Good as a coach in there that know how to draft and build a team. You know what I'm saying? We don't want one good player here, one good player there. You know what I'm saying? We want talent all around the board. Even from the backup. Like I said before in one of my other videos. When Bill Cowher was there, all the backups were starters. We had we had a few uh mishaps here and there, you know, a few few players that couldn't fulfill a couple starts, but it was never at linebacker. It was never at offensive line. It was more at cornerback than anything. But uh, a guy on uh, I commented on some guy's post on YouTube and he was talking about what the Steelers need to do or whatever. So, I said basically, what what they need is some uh, somebody that knows how to draft. You know, Mike Tomlin got that Tampa two defense in there, and it's just not working. The defense is good. Don't get me wrong, but. You get against good wide receivers and you look more mediocre than anything. You know, good running backs run all over us. You know, if it wasn't for Cam Hayward, TJ Watt, and Minka Fitzpatrick, tell you the truth, that, that, that defense would be probably last in the league. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. Y'all tell me. You know what I'm saying? What you think? But the guy on YouTube was arguing with me saying that. His his reply to my my statement was, I don't know what I'm talking about. Mike Tomlin would have a better defense. I mean, a better offensive line had he not had a dynasty for 10 years. I say, man, a dynasty for 10 years? 
I said, he inherited a dynasty. And within the last 10 years, he has done nothing but brought that dynasty down. You know, everybody wants to card him. But he hasn't had a losing season. So, to everybody that says that, you, you, you basically tell me that you're okay with the 8-8 eight eight coach. You know what I'm saying? Because dynasties <clears throat> don't barely make the playoffs. They make the playoffs. And then they try to make statements in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? The children of the 70s was a dynasty. The Cowboys was a dynasty. The San Francisco 49ers was a dynasty. The New England Patriots was a dynasty. And quite as kept, the Buffalo Bills was a dynasty when, even though they didn't win the Super Bowl. But for them to go to four straight Super Bowls, that was unprecedented. So don't tell me, oh, he ain't, he got a losing, he ain't had a losing season or, you know, I should be happy with, man. Guys just can't coach to me. That's just my opinion. I mean, you might be happy with what he's doing. I'm, I'm not happy barely making a playoffs and sitting around and happy to watch other teams compete in the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. And win. I mean, yeah, I understand that it's hard to win championships, let alone even harder to make the playoffs, but some people act like this dude just because he ain't had a losing season. He ain't been in the playoffs every year. Man, we struggled to get in the playoffs. Look at that 11-0 and team last year. Barely made the playoffs. Then got in the playoffs got blew out. Barely made the playoffs this year with a sorry team and, and got blew out. And and the reason we got blew out because that offensive line didn't hold up enough to keep being on the field. Our receiver core, they're good. But if you if your line don't give you time, then there's nothing you can do to uh, stay on the field. So your defense is on the field most of the game. I ended up getting tired. Mahomes picked him apart. I can just keep going on the field and be three and out, three and out, three and out, you know. I expected a blowout. I think everybody expected a blowout. We were the biggest underdogs in the playoffs this past weekend. Where does the Steelers go from here? You know, are, are they going to? Pursue Russell Wilson, Trubisky, or Deshaun Watson. I would prefer Russell Wilson. I think uh, as long as Mike Tomlin is there, Pittsburgh is going to be just that. I've been griping about Mike Tomlin ever since the, the Super Bowl against Green Bay. To me, he doesn't have a clue. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a proud, still a fan, even though I don't like the coach. I want to see my team do well. My time needs to learn how to draft. Kevin Colbert. I don't know if Kevin Colbert is, is coming back. There, there was rumors that he may be, uh, this may be it for him. But what I would love to see, and I know I'm grasping at straws, but what I would love to see is Bill Cowher come back as a general manager. He may make Tomlin a lot better. And drafting, you know, draft choices and things like that. Because when Bill Cowher was there, 
Bill Cowher knew how to draft. We all thought it was Colbert, but right now it tells us that Bill Cowher was the man that did all the drafting. Because he's been gone since. Ever since he's been gone, we've getting good player here, good player there, good player here, good player there. Don't get me wrong. We've got some, we got some talent, but yeah. Bill Cowher, if you're listening, man, come back and be the general manager of the Steelers. Teach Mike Tomlin how to, how to coach football. And on that note, I'm out, people. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. God love you. Ain't a dang thing you can do about it. And let's go Steelers. Peace.